It's been quite the journey, but we finally made it here to Ray's Mountain Bike Park. We're so excited for this one. And I'm so excited to see the guys that have never been here before just show up and look at this place for the first time. It's, it blows your mind, it really is. You've never seen a park like this before. It's so original and it's absolutely huge. And guess what guys, today's the day that Trey Jones has his shorts back on. Back to normal. How's it feel? Free and cold. Admit it. It's actually not that cold. No, today. Not cold at all. It's cold, man. There's no way around it. No, I'm gonna be riding. So I'm gonna be fine. I like what I'm seeing here. Yeah. That's a good sign right there. I was hoping for the boots. <laughs> I was hoping for the boots. Gotta have a helmet on the skate park. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so today in this video, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the skate park. It's huge. It's absolutely insane. And I'm gonna go to each section and show you guys what this place is. We're also gonna film so many other videos here. But uh, let's go walk inside. Show you guys what we got going on. All right. So we're inside the skate park right now. They have an awesome setup here. Look at all these bikes that they have behind us. A bunch of rental bikes. It just keeps on going and going. I've never seen anything like this before. And then over here is an awesome pro shop. They have so much stuff over here. Trey already went and got actually a new tire because the tire that big boy made him for the bike that he's temporarily riding, it's too slippery and Trey fell three times so far. But we're just making in, we're saying hi to everybody and now it's time to go see the skate park. Welcome to Profile World. I feel like I'm at an amusement park or something. This is kind of crazy. In here, there's a bunch of like tables set up. It looks like a restaurant. <laughs> it's kind of insane. And over here is a pretty awesome looking rhythm section. Look at this right here. What's really cool is that they have these berms built, but you can see they're all like single pieces of wood down there. It's not like regular plywood. So it took a while to build it. You can see somebody's riding them right now, pumping around. Roller setups, a couple box jumps. This is where the box jump section is. I mean, at least one of them. There's a roll one that goes down into a couple big box jumps. And I've seen a lot of people ride this in videos and stuff. And like, you can see like it jumps and hits onto that quarter pipe up there. Oh, there we go. We're getting actually somebody to ride it right now. So then you hip up onto that thing. And then you keep on going. I mean, I don't really don't know when it ends. Wow, look at it go. All the way around the corner. And then you go into this section, that is sick. You really didn't know what was going on here. No, this is box jump heaven. <laughs> you like it so far? It's sick, yeah, it's so much fun. Where's everybody else at? How'd you lose uh, everybody? Well, they're at the, I don't know, crazy mountain bikes, right? Yeah, they're riding on it. Dom putting in some laps over here on the profile world section. It looks so much fun. That's amazing. Yeah, Dom. So much fun. Ah. Hey. So what's your nickname on your BMX bike? Ashton One Shot Lee. Let me see. One Shot nickname right there. That is so cool. It's funny you bring that up because so happen to have a water bottle patiently waiting for Big Dog to show up. Big boy, we need you. We need you, big boy. Come over here. So we have somebody who brought you a water bottle today. It must be good. It's one shot in front of one shot. You ready? You approve of this? Thumbs up? Thank you. All right, big boy. <laughs> you good? It went. All right, big boy, you did it. Good job, man. Do you approve of that one? You, you... I, that one was that impressive. <laughs> impressive. What's up, little guy? Take a lead. <laughs> <laughs> he just... oh, All right, Brant, what's going on here? Got something for you, buddy. All right, and what we got? It's been a while. Been waiting to give it to you. I think you already know. Is this a drawing? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm so excited to see this. After failing to give it to you in New Jersey. Do you know what this is? No idea. Well, you're about to be really impressed because I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Well, ready? I'm, yeah, I'm so ready. How amazing is what? that? Dude, I, I can't believe this, man. Seeing this in person, the detail is ridiculous. Absolutely amazing, Did you man. catch the video of it? Yeah, okay. yeah. The video is so cool. Brant underscore more. YouTube's the same. Okay, so on there he has the videos of drawing these, uh, you did the Matt Hoffman one on Hoffman, there, right? Hoffman, Doyle, Mira. You. A lot of heavy hitters on there. But this is unreal, man. So uh, how long does it take to draw like something like this? Like, what's the process? 
anywhere from like 10 to 20 hours of that, actual drawing time. That is amazing. It's just, I just, the detail is just unbelievable. You have my broken, crooked nose perfect. <laughs> Everything man, like I just I can't believe it like I'm so yeah. blown away, but great honestly Thank you so much yeah, man. for What's, drawing it. Thank you so much for what I think is so cool about this Like my favorite thing about BMX is How you can be a little kid and look up to people, you know, like going to the skate park all the good dudes riding around doing big tricks And then BMX is different than other sports because you can actually meet those people like right now you get to become friends with them. So cool, man. I, I'm I'm so honored that you drew this and I'm so impressed. I can't even tell you, man. Like you, what you have is a, a serious talent. Thank and you, uh, I'm so proud to have a drawing of myself, man. Right when you first walk in the building, you keep on going straight through the doors, you get to the main part of the skate park and right ahead of you is a really confusing area because there's just wood everywhere. It looks just like piles of random stuff but if you look at it when you get closer to it, you realize that you're able to ride on that stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what they got. Look at, there are tracks upon tracks, things that you can ride over. You can do double tire rides, you can go over bricks and stones and things like that, as you can see over there. It just keeps on going and going. There's just so much random stuff. It's so different. I've never seen this at any other place before. This is Flow Trail right here. It's like a box jump line. As you can see, there's like a pretty crazy looking bowl set up. You come flying into it and you can actually like jump into it as well right there. There's like a kicker going in. I was just talking to a couple locals and I was trying to figure out where everything is. And like it's kind of going through one ear and out the other because this place is that overwhelming. We're right here at the entrance part and as I'm looking to this side, there's things to go over there and as I'm over here you can go ride that way too but over here we pass like a little area where there's like a fireplace right there and there's another ramp room over there that's apparently like 50,000 square feet this is the craziest place in the world but I'm gonna go attempt to find the guys but I'm gonna try to give you guys a little tour of everything at the same time so uh, let's start over here with the flow trail so I just came up these stairs right here and up top is a little trail that you can actually follow you go down this hallway come through here you can hit that burn down there and it continues on and you can go all the way along that line right there all the way against that berm over there and you can actually hit box jumps that continue going that way and over here i found the resi room so they have the foam pit over here they have some vert walls and they have a resi box jump that's right there so this is kind of cool definitely surprising to see this here and then along the outside over there, that is the green line that continues around the whole building pretty much. So we're gonna go cruise on down here and hopefully get over to the kink room. All right, so over here, this is the kink bowl. This is pretty crazy. As you can see, the boys are filming right now. Dom's dropping some moves. This is such a cool area right here. And it's so unique. There's so many different transitions on it. There's vert walls, there's spines, there's bank ramps. There's Maddie riding right now. It's Kervoraj apparently, I didn't even see that there. I'm gonna get a second angle. Big Boy's filming over there for another video. Nice. That was cool. All right guys, here is another room here at Rays, and this is called the street room. As you can see, there's a lot of street obstacles, which is kind of rare here. A lot of really cool options. They have a couple bank walls and a grind box right there. They have a really cool double rail set up, which is kind of crazy to see. You really don't see that too often. And then over there is a ledge. Sub box over here looks really fun. Uh, a lot of cool vert wall setups. And there's one shot doing his thing. So it just keeps on getting better and better every time we go to a different room here at Ray's. So the next one we're gonna go check out is the pump room. Isaiah, you're the local man. You're as local as it gets. You live right around the corner. Oh, yeah. You just gave me a tour through here and you show me the rest of it because I get lost walking around here. Oh, yeah. What room are we currently in? Uh, the beginner room. It's like, if you're not really that like experienced in riding, you just like come back here and mess around till you like get like a little bike control. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty sick. Awesome, all right bro, enjoy your pizza. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so look at this. And it's almost like a little obstacle course that they have set up here. And then over there, it just keeps on going and it gets higher and higher as it goes. But there's so many different people that are riding in here, all different kinds of skill levels, and uh, it's so cool to see, it really is. I just keep on going around a corner, and I just keep on seeing more and more ramps and more and more things to do, so. The next stop, we are going to the pump track. All right, so I'm rolling with the crew right now. We were supposed to stop at the pump track, but of course we come around the corner and we find even more ramps. So guys, what is this area over here? Um, this is like the end of like the flow trail that goes all around the park. Yeah. And then this is like, it's just like like for like young kids that like want to learn like pumping, you could like go in like circles in there. And oh, really? It. 
Let me check it out. All right, do a quick lap, guys. Demonstrate real quick what's happening. That was cool. That's cool. All right, guys, what room are we in currently? Um, it's kind of like the beginner area, like kind of like novice, but like once you get a little better, there's like two little tabletops we're gonna hit. All right, let's get trained from the boys. Right. Coming on a corner to the little boxes. Nice, that's so cool. So we officially made it to the pump track. All right, boys, show me where to start and finish this. I'm gonna film you guys. All right, getting the crew to do a little train through here. Show you guys how the pump track works. Pretty amazing, they got a bunch of really cool berms. Bunch of rollers. And it continues around the whole building. Looks like so much fun. And then you go back up to the top, or you can turn and keep on going. That's awesome. The boys brought me over to another part of the skate park, and over here is a good view of everything. We pretty much can see everything from here. Now the guys are gonna give me a run through of the green set. That's from the rolling up top from earlier, so I'll show you guys right now how it looks. This is gonna be pretty cool. To show you just how much flow is actually here, which is pretty amazing, so here they come. It looks like so much fun, and you just keep on going around the whole entire skate park. And there's Corey Regular. He's back. He is back. So we're in arguably the coolest part of the skate park. Trey says this is the best part of the skate park. We have the stunt crew over here. There's an elevator. How crazy is that? He said he doesn't weigh enough. He said that he needs somebody else to help him through it. That was awesome. Good job. Next one in. How cool is that? That's amazing. Oh, it's so ah. impossible. Matt's doing a quick run through. Oh my goodness. It's an obstacle course. Tear totter. Oh, he bypassed that one. Oh my god. Come on, Matt, commit. How cool is that? I love it. That's a blast. Alright, here we go. The boys are gonna do a train through these crazy looking roller things. Come on boys, keep it together. We got the train up top, we got the whole crew going. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. So here we are just hanging out here at Rays man. Look at this. They have a little Couch set up with three fireplaces. Doesn't get any better than this right now. We are having so much fun hanging out here at Rays. The boys have been filming all day. I decided to do a little tour for you guys to show you guys how amazing this skate park is. Huge thank you to my friends here that I met that showed me around the skate park because it's quite confusing. It really is like a big maze, especially if you're walking around, you're not on your bike. But if you guys ride BMX, you guys ride mountain bike, and you guys live somewhere within driving distance of this place, you guys need to come visit this park. But guys, we're gonna film a bunch more videos for you guys. They're gonna be going up for the rest of this week. It's going to be a good one. So we're going to get ready to work right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Rays. Till next time, remember to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Peace.